one point in everyone's life, something happens that makes one truly understand the value and importance of life. For me, it was when my sister was born. But for my mama, it was when she was diagnosed with cancer. For about, about 22 years ago, my mama was diagnosed with cancer. There was a huge grapefruit-sized tumor in her leg. Um, about 14 years later, she had to get her leg amputated. From that day on, my mama, Diane Steinbrink, didn't let anything stop her from seeing her grandchildren. My mama has been through it all, and every day she loves life even more than the day before. My mama, Diane Steinbrink, is determined, brave, and selfless. That is why I am asking you to induct my mama, Diane Steinbrink, into the World Hall of Fame. On April 3rd, born in Brooklyn, New York, my mama was raised as an only child. She grew up a completely healthy and normal child. No one would have expected these consequences to be inflicted upon such an incredible woman. The day she was diagnosed was a scary day for my entire family. Although I was not born at the time when she was diagnosed, my family remembers this day very deeply. She remembers it very well and remembers being alone when she, was create, when, she was, when she heard the news that she had cancer. She remembers driving home alone, crying, and in utter disbelief. My mom had to undergo two different procedures. The first procedure, the doctors inserted a metal rod into her leg, this time removing the cancer. Although they saved her leg, she wasn't able to bend her leg. The second procedure she had to undergo was to actually amputate her leg. The metal rod caused an infection in her leg, and she had to, in order to save her leg and from the infection spreading, to knock on wood, didn't kill her, but she had to get her leg amputated. As a result of this drastic change in her life, my mama became more involved in her community. Two organizations that she is a part of is the JFCS and NCJW. The JFCS is the Jewish Federation of Children's Services. This is an organization that provides a diverse array of services to help people cope with the difficulties throughout their life. She is such an active member in this organization that last November she was honored at the Pursuit of Happiness event. Just like she was there for my family, we were all there to watch her when it was her time to shine. The second organization she is a part of is the NCJW, National Council of Jewish Women. This organization has one goal, to improve the quality of life for children, women, and families going through any difficulties through their lives. She has been an active member of this organization for 50 years. This, these organizations are a constant reminder to not only myself, but to everyone around her, showing how important life is and how much she can impact one person's life. The main reason why my mama is an inspiration to me is because she is determined. Not only did she lose her leg to a deadly infection, but she also went along with her life as if nothing was wrong. Obviously, she had one less leg, but then had a prosthetic leg. This doesn't mean that she could do everything that she did before. For example, now because she, doesn't have, now because she has a prosthetic leg, she can't go swimming anymore. She also can't go for long walks on the beach like she used to. But this hasn't stopped her from going anywhere other than that. Every time we go to the mall or the theater, she always manages to walk around with no issue. Her signature walk is a sideways shuffle. This is what she does when her walker is too, too big to fit through a narrow space. She simply turns herself sideways and shuffles. My mom has fought through the scariest of times, and she realized that her life was definitely worth living, and she was not going to be beaten by cancer. In conclusion, my mama is a great friend, a mother, an inspirational grandmother, and most of all, an extraordinary person. Through her time, love, and dedication, she has inspired many, many people. As Anne Frank once said, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. This holds true for my mama. She at any moment would she at any moment would help someone offer to help her time or anything to help someone in need. She's an inspiration to not only myself, 
but to everyone else around her. Shown by her heart of gold, she is willing to do anything for anyone at all. As a truly wonderful person, with great character, who is brave and selfless, that is why I am asking you to induct my mum, Diane Steinbrink, into the World Hall of Fame. Thank you.